The Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant is located in Buchanan, New York, 25 miles north of New York City on the east bank of the Hudson River. It was one of the first nuclear power plants in the country and has been operating since 1963. It was built by Consolidated Edison Incorporated and is currently owned by Entergy Nuclear Operations Incorporated, a subsidiary of Entergy New Orleans. Indian Point has three nuclear reactors. One of them was permanently shut down in 1974 after a steam leak cracked a steel liner and allowed water into the reactor. The other two reactors are still operating, supplying power to energy-hungry New York City and the surrounding area. Indian Point has a poor safety record with the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission and with local environmental activists. The power plant has been charged with many safety violations, including leaking up to 150 gallons of radioactive water every day for four years and dumping 900 gallons of contaminated water into the Hudson River. There have also been accusations of exposing hundreds of workers to asbestos as late as November of 2004. Any industrial hot process in operation between the 1920s and the mid-1970s used asbestos-containing insulation. Most nuclear power plants, including Indian Point, were built in the 1960s and 1970s. Their construction didn't use pounds of asbestos, but tons of it. Many buildings housing nuclear power plants are built of transite, a concrete that contains asbestos fibers. These buildings can also contain floor tiles and roofing panels made from asbestos as fireproofing materials. Nuclear power plants use literally miles of piping, most of which are hot processes and were insulated with asbestos. Insulation was also used for power cables, steam lines, condensers, valves, pumps, turbines, and cable trays. Asbestos was used in electrical wiring to minimize fire hazards. Instrument lines were wrapped with asbestos. Some asbestos-containing insulation still remains in place at both operating Indian Point reactors, according to their own reports filed with the NRC. A report filed in April of 2002 stated that the reactor pressure vessel head could not be visibly examined because it was covered with a thick layer of asbestos block insulation filled with asbestos cement, covered with two layers of asbestos tape, and again coated with asbestos cement over the tape. The estimated cost to remove asbestos and other toxic wastes, such as PCBs, from one shutdown nuclear power plant in Illinois was $10 million. The cleanup isn't expected to be complete until 2025. Thank you for watching. This video was produced by asbestos.net a leading resource on all aspects of asbestos and mesothelioma. Our priority is to inform victims about the devastating effects of asbestos exposure, mesothelioma, asbestos cancer, asbestosis, and other asbestos-related diseases, and to advise them with a wealth of information. Individuals whose lives have been touched by mesothelioma have numerous questions and concerns. Their caregivers and family members also need accurate, reliable information. If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with mesothelioma or asbestos cancer and need more information, we invite you to visit and explore the thousands of pages of oncologist-reviewed material on asbestos.net, to call our convenient toll-free number shown below and speak with a mesothelioma specialist, or to use the simple contact form found at asbestos.net to request a free copy of our informative books, custom inserts, and DVD. Asbestos.net, information and help for patients and families.